Hey guys, now I'm gonna give it back to you for the video, guys. Today, we get my prediction for the Blitz promo coming out the day after Thanksgiving. You guys, do not know the Blitz promo does come out the day after Thanksgiving, and it usually goes ahead and gives us two 94 and 93 overall players as our champions, and those two limited time cards. And then during the whole entire Blitz promo, the whole point of the Blitz promo is to get you to spend money on the game. That's pretty much all it is. But I will say, usually it has really good deals. So if you do spend money, you get your money's worth. Which, you know, you're buying virtual stuff in a game. So, it, you know, use that with a grain of salt when I say money's worth. With that being said, though, pretty much while everything's going on, you get Blitz tokens. You also get Blitz tickets. Now, these things can be used to buy players out of the store with. And these are pretty much how the players actually work. There's not really any sets other than the two champions. So let's go ahead and start off right away by saying... The first champion usually is a legend champion, and I think that's going to be Night Train Lane. So this is usually where we first see Night Train Lane is during the Blitz promo. So would not be surprised if he ends up getting that 94 overall. And if you guys have never used Night Train Lane before, I'm going to tell you right now, his block shed is literally the best of any quarterback in the game. He's got really good speed, and he's going to have really good overall physical cornerback. So he's like Jalen Ramsey on steroids at this point. That's how good this usually this Night Train Lane is. He usually ends up being the best cornerback in the game for at least a lot of two, maybe one or two months. So in mind, he's going to be a really good card for a really good time. All right. So our second player we have here is going to go ahead and be DeAndre Hopkins. Now we are into our second champion player. And this, of course, obviously makes sense. The best card he has right now in the game is his base elite, and he hasn't gotten a card since then. Now, he hasn't played the last couple of weeks. Him and Kyler Murray, they've both been out uh, due to, I'm not sure exactly what it is. I know it's an injury of some kind, but he has been out. So he hasn't been able to get a team to week card, and he hasn't gotten a promo card. So that probably does mean he'll probably get a card during this promo, being, again, the next promo up. With that being said, though, now we have two limited edition cards we'll be talking about. Now, these two limited edition cards, keep in mind, will quick sell for 750,000. Oh, sorry, 250,000 coins. But keep in mind, there are three total limited times during this promo. But the issue is the third limited time is not a quick sell value of coins. It's actually a quick sell value of Blitz tickets or blitz tokens so for example the first two you know go back okay awesome you know 250 kick 250,000 coin quick sell no big deal the third one will be a low overall most likely the 88 overall and that will be one that actually quick sells for around thousand blitz tokens so let's go ahead and get into our first limited time card and that's going to go ahead and be none other than kyler murray so yeah hasn't had gotten a card since uh, I think his team in a week card, which was an 87 overall, and he is indeed due for a brand new card. Now, the cool thing about this is this is probably going to be the limited time card. It was last year, and it will be this year. The reason why is because he sells packs. That's pretty much the whole premise. At the end of the day, EA, all they care about is a card that will sell packs. And at the end of the day, Kyler Murray will sell packs. A lot of people will be opening up packs with Kyler Murray. He'll be one of the best quarterbacks in the game. He'll absolutely have amazing stats. He'll have great speed. So everyone will go after him. Kyler Murray as our offensive limited time player. Now, if you guys have not caught the drift yet, how this promo works, you have an offensive player, defense player, offensive player, defense player, so on, so on for every single overall of the least with that being said our defense limited time is tj watt coming in at currently a 90 overall he did get some team of the week plus ones so his power up does go up to a 90 overall so this would be a nice little plus three upgrade plus four upgrade for his card and to be honest he is definitely in a need for a brand new card but again like i said these two guys would sell so many packs kyler murray and tj watt a lot of money coming from ea sports right there uh, those two players alone. All right. Now we're getting to uh, more of our players that will be available in the store. Again, keep in mind, guys, these players will be available in the store while you're going ahead and getting those Blitz tokens. You can actually use them to buy these players out of the store to also get some Blitz tickets. And that starts off with 92 overall Joe Mixon. Again, like I said, I know last year we had two running backs during this promo. I wouldn't be surprised if we get another two running backs during this promo, but I definitely think Joe Mixon is going to get a card sometime soon. He has an 86 overall currently in the game. That was his gridiron, uh, 
great iron guardian card so i definitely think he'll get a brand new card soon 92 overall would make a lot of sense our next card we have here is going to go ahead and be xavian howard i've been talking about this guy getting a brand new card saying he needs a brand new card one of the most popular cornerbacks in the nfl and yet ea sports has still not gotten him a new card so i hope he gets a new card during this promo because i really want to use this card i really do love xavian howard cards and for some reason he didn't get a team in a week card when he literally i think when he caused the fumble or he, or he covered the fumble against baltimore which actually won them the game so i'm not sure why that's the case but with that being said 91 overall zach martin is back so every year we get a 91 overall zach martin and i'm expecting this to be the 91 overall again as again popular player offense alignment usually he's a cheap guy to go for not a bad idea not a bad deal all right sex now uh, next guy we have here Javion Clowney. Now, Clowney currently has an 88 overall card in the game. Is an ultimate kickoff player, which of course upgrades to an 89 overall. So this would be a plus two to his card, plus three after you power him up, which would not be a bad overall increase. All right, next player, Brennan Ayaluk. Again, currently his best card in the game, I believe, is like an 70 or 80. I want to say. I don't think he has a high overall card in the game currently. I'm going to go ahead and actually check that real fast because I forget what his actual overall is. Uh, let's see. Brennan Ayaluk. Um, what is his best overall card in the game? His best overall card in the game currently. Make sure I'm going to go look at the other players uh, right here. But we also have do have Dante Jackson, who another player who I think currently in the game has 84 overall card. We have Mr. Chris Godwin, who has like an 84 two overall card right now Donnell Hunter DeAndre Swift I misspelled Swift and Demario Davis rounds out our, our guys right there we go ahead and just pull up uh Mr. Brand Night Luke here his best card in the game is a 78 overall card so definitely deserves a brand new card soon and again like I said Chris Godwin has like an 84 overall um Donnell Hunter has like an 84 overall DeAndre Swift has an 84 team builder and Demario Davis has an 82 overall so definitely all players who deserve brand new cards but i know i know it i know it, know it i know i missed that guy tell me down below who it is guys who is the player i missed who deserves to get a brand new card i'll definitely say one thing so chris Carson now is out for the season and i'm kind of looking over the ir list and a lot of my prediction videos now i'm starting to look over the ir list for a lot of these players because that's how ea really does select players from now on like when it's a not a team of the week promo right or any promo that's related around the season they just look for the IR list. And the reason why is because those players are going to be out for the year. Unless is the Derrick Henry is going to come back for the playoffs. But they're most likely going to be out for the year. And throughout for the year, then that's a way to get those players new cards. Because they're not going to get cards from the Team of the Week promo. They're not going to get cards from other promos. So give them cards during, you know, these not uh, sorry these holiday promos slash filler promos. Guys, if you did enjoy this video, hit a like. Scrub it down below. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.